Basics now upset election results in the volunteer state. In Tennessee, businessman Bill Lee won the Republican nomination for governor, embarrassing Congresswoman Diane Black, who finished a distant and ugly third. The president tweeting congratulations to Bill Lee of Tennessee on his big primary win for governor last night. He ran a great campaign and now will finish off the job in November. Bill has my total and enthusiastic endorsement. Now, President Trump did not endorse anyone in the primary. However, Congresswoman Black did pick up the backing of Vice President Mike Pence. So it's a stunner, or is it? Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, Lee campaigned as an unabashed conservative uh, all through the state of Tennessee to win uh, this nomination. And I think it proves that a constitutional conservative, even without the backing of the president of the United States, who has wonderful, wonderful power for Republican candidates, but a conservative constitutionalist can win and can defeat a rhino. It's not only that, Graham, but there seems to be a preference that uh, is popping up around the country that it's an advantage not to be a member of the swamp, as Trump points out all the time. Keep in mind, Trump came from way outside the political system, and so did the winner in Tennessee last night. Here's somebody that campaigned on the fact that, hey, I know how to run a business. I know how to relate to people. I want to put Tennessee first, and I'm not a politician. And he won a massive come-from-behind victory with virtually no political help from the establishment. That says something very big about what may be happening nationwide, in my opinion. Yeah, and also, Barry, he wasn't afraid to run away from his faith either. You know, he, he said, hey, listen, I'm, I'm a Christian. This is this is my faith. This is who I am. And, and here he comes up the victor. Speaking of that, uh, in Oregon, in Portland right. in particular, uh, they are gearing up for what could be another unfortunate and completely unnecessary clash uh, apparently, some folks in uh, Portland have a problem with Patriot Player, the group, prayer, I should say. Patriot Prayer. They have a problem with this group. But why not, Barry? Uh, uh, these anarchists, Antifa in particular, they have a problem with both words in that term, being a patriot and being people of God. It reminds me, if you study history, which I wish Americans did, of 1930s Germany. The Antifa people who claim to be anti-fascists are anything but that. They are the brown shirts of our current political climate. They are outright threatening anyone who opposes them. They're threatening with violence. They say they're going to carry guns, and they say that the guns will equalize because the patriot prayer people uh, are big muscle-bound gym rats, as they call them, and they will fight back with weapons. They don't want anybody raising the American flag in defense of the American system, and they're willing to wage violence in the streets on anybody who's opposed to, as you said, anarchy. It's, it's insane, and it reminds me of 1930s Germany. It worked for Hitler. I hope to God it doesn't work anymore here. So far, nobody has shut them down, including the police. Speaking of radicals, this Ocasio-Cortez, who's uh, the socialist running for uh, Congress uh, in New York, apparently she has some interesting philosophical roots. Actually, when you look at them, they're my roots, Adam Smith kind of roots, if this report is true. <laughs> yeah, she um, proves the depth and sincerity of her political philosophy, Graham. She came from an Adam Smith, pro-capitalist, anti-feminist background, and that's based on her writings, which people are now recovering. She went to the other side, Graham, because it's much easier to get elected on the let's give you free stuff platform rather than, hey, why don't you go work for the stuff you want? Everybody that's supporting her wants more free stuff. And the free stuff agenda of the Democratic Socialist Party is we'll give you everything, free education, free housing, free um, medical care, uh, and a job, even if you don't have one, for the rest of your life at $15 <laughs> an hour. So the uninformed yeah. vote for that. Who wants, to vo who wants to vote for hard work, free enterprise, and capitalism? Gee, that sounds a lot harder than sitting on the couch and collecting a check.
and and as the uninformed uh, surely does not know about Adam Smith. And frankly, I'm surprised that the uh, the young lady running for Congress knows about him as well. Barry, thanks.